when will we boss me and Anushka were dancing so nicely there? So, let's drink for you, Anushka. Here, Geralt, have you already walked that monster? You said your tradespeople were devoured by the droners. Yeah, there are oblige disgusting despimples. And why, I pray thee, tell me, did I have to deal with a whole band of ghouls? Ghouls scrapes and crow at night, eating everything inside. Got lost, you fool. For some freak? To tell me what to do? Like you said, get lost before the innkeeper has to pick your guts off the floor. Now that there's there are ghosts, will you tell me to fuck off? Go for it, bitch. I'll tell you to fuck off too. So what? Shall we hack off, hack off together? All the same, I have fulfilled the order, but you must pay more for the ghouls. Why are you bargaining like a port range, or are you to tank me? If I was tricking you, I would have brought one alive, it not bother for me. Okay, okay, I'll pay you. Double the price. Hey, Witcher! What do you want? Where's your silver fucking sword? Lost it in the swamp while killing your ghouls. Well then, I have an offer for you that is forever for Borta Fox. I hate fucking portals. I'll be a silent as a grave. Instead privacy just between you and me. We are having a lunch break, my good sir. I came from Philip. Are you brothers by chance? Sisters. We used two pieces in the same pot. How can you prove that you come from him? Well, guys, his papers are in order. Go ahead, draw. What? Is that simple? For some simple, for others working, working. Can you believe it? I've been talking to him for three days. He came all red, angry. He said, I want a huge axe. And showed the pictures. I asked him, why do you need all these skulls, ferns? I won't be able to work with them. I remember, he was also saying some phrases, a sort wow. of pretentious one, like uh, wow. along the lines of times change, right? So you know him or what? Yeah, acquaintance of mine. So I had something like this that I lost in the swamps. When will let start working? Kiru, light the forge, grant. French the metal, and meanwhile, I will finish my snack. Hi everyone, dear friends, Red Forge channel here, and I am Sergei Gurnikov. And today it's about time to will be making a sword, and not just any sword, but a witcher's sword, a real one. But before we start this wonderful process, I suggest that you pause and like us. Already like us? Well done, because I thought you would forget us server. But first, let me tell you about an interesting blacksmith quality. The main thing about a blacksmith is not exactly having a bird or strong arms. It's the ability to correctly draw and design the sketch. 
That's why we will make the most accurate drawing on the computer, millimeter to millimeter, exactly the way it should look. We'll print it in the required format to make everything as perfect as possible. And when we finish our product, I really want to see your comments. Let us know if you like the product, do you like our work, do you like our atmosphere and creativity. It's extremely interesting to know what you think about all this. And if you forget, you're gonna get it! Well, now let's see what kind of sword the customer wants from us. Looking at the reference that you see on the screen, we are dealing with a Witcher's Silver Sword from the Netflix series. With this information, we had to go through the entire first season to find out whether this sword was involved in any challenging battle sense. After all, there is one little trick depending on this, which we'll talk about a little later. For now, let's just say that this sword is very strange and uh, it's not really adapted for a real combat. However, we will try to fix this. We have completed the preparation work, and now let's move on to the section babbling on Lake Petruk. In contrast to everything we have recently observed in movies and TV series, this work looks pretty decent. Here is a longsword before us. Among its shortcomings, I can name the outsized pummel and the gut, and also the recast on the blade, which will indicate its weak point. As always in our videos, we will tell you what kind of steel we will use and why. Only the devil knows who and uh, what uh, our white-haired friend will cut with this sword, therefore we will take the averaged version. We will be using 9260 steel. It holds the hard ring well and has pretty good shock absorbing qualities. Uh, way the better than the silver which this sword was made of originally. As for endowing this sword with the magical properties, the Witcher himself will somehow figure it out. We have finished forging the strip of our future sword, and now we move on to forging the bevels. Bevels are the part of the blade, tapering towards the cutting edge. In our case, they will start at the center of the blade, forming an edge along the entire blade. And while we are putting our sword into the right shape, let's talk about the one little trick that was mentioned in the very beginning. Do you remember that we went looking for challenging battle sense with this sword? 
Our little trick depends specialty on whether they were there in the series or not. You see, usually when filming TV series and movies, they use words that are intentionally made not as long as they would have been in reality, because of they made a sword blade of the correct land. There would be a problems with the using hard rubber counterparts. The narrow end was constantly break off. Besides the blade was made the correct land, the participants of the battle sense would have been quite far apart from each other for safety reasons, which in its turn requires the use a more widescreen image when shooting. For this very reason, making sure that the filming of the Witcher, the creator, relied on such a trick, we increase the length of the blade to the correct values with a clear conscience. I finished forging our sword and will go rest for a while. In the meantime, the sword is going for preliminary bench work. Such an operation as preliminary grinding is necessary not just because it's aesthetically pleasing to work with a blade shaped with a grinder, but because if we don't bring the thickness of the blade to a common denominator, it will simply contort during hardening. And this is um, the last thing we wanted. One slip up and uh, we would have to start over. In order for the hidden tank hole in the sword guard to repeat its shape as accurately as possible and fit the size of this particular product, we'll need to make an exit copy of the tank gun and beginning of the blade of our sword represented by a punch and using it from a hole in the blade. And only after that process we're shaping the general form of the guard. After all the simple manipulations with the punch manufacturing, the time has come to face the biggest challenge – to make a smooth hole in the god blank. Then shape it with the precise hammer blows, finally shape the blade in certain hole and grind for the aesthetics. The 
browser will be exactly the same story with the pummel. We process it from the blank, mold, grind and voila, all done. Of course, this would be much easier and faster to do on mining machine. However, our channel is about forging, so we will be doing everything with a hammer and holy fuck. Hardening is one of the most beautiful and complex processes for making, therefore I will simply say that we will heat this blade in oil to a temperature of no more than 850 degrees. I won't distract you from contemplating this mystical process. Here we are again at the stage when the product is going through the pairing, which means it's a perfect time to start engraving. Our engraving is simple, it's decorate the sword guard. It is a simple decoration of straight lines creating a geometric pattern. It results in a small mesh on the projecting part of the guard. Here it is important to go through with a small meaning tool, this does not overlap this pattern. Actually there is nothing much to explain here, therefore I suggest to start. For crying out loud, why on earth is here no music? The speaker is broken. What the fucking fuck? I'll figure something out now! 
a few moments later. Come on, let me go. Come on and say, it. let me go. Look, that a handsome guy. What have you dragged in here? This is our new speaker. Can you play something about witches for us? Of course. Забудь про свой родимый дом Только так станешь ты ведьмаком Будешь ты мутантом К ядам всем готов Обретешь таланты Победить врагов Слабак и жалкий трус, но мечта его в одном Должен он стать потом ведьмака Of course, this warble sings marvelously, but it makes me wonder about his fairy tales. Because in the Slavic lands, the witches were not mutant terminators at all. They were more like warriors wizards who know but how to punch in the face and how to calm the evil creatures. Yeah, they actually know a lot of things from what did they for the witches. So witches and blacksmiths are kindred spirits, they know and do much more than ordinary people. And at the same time they also keep us busy with each other and share their speakers. Всегда как грифон опасен Не укротим, как хмельной угар Герой он игр, сериалов басен Никто не отразит его удар Now we have made it to the final grinding and creation of the fuller. You are quite bright and you probably know that the groove on the blade isn't at all called the blood groove, but has a clear definition. Fuller, and it's certainly not designed to drain victim's blood. The primary function of the fuller is to make the blade lighter and stronger, so in the battle you don't have to swing the 5 kg bludgeon. With it, Sword becomes more flexible and resilient, and the word blood channel perhaps could be applied to the bandage on the spear of an equestrial warrior. This silk handkerchief prevented the blood from flowing down the shaft, redirected it downward, which prevented the writer's hands from sliding. After all the previous operations, in the order to bring our sword to its logical end, we need to make a handle for it. To do this, we slide our edge block lengthwise. Next, using such precision tools such as pencil and our eyes, we need to mark the centers of the blanks. And afterwards, attach the blanks to our tank, so that no grabs are formed between the guard and the blank. Outline the tank and cut the groove using chisel. The groove that we cut using the chisel should perfectly follow the shape of the tank. Therefore, in order to use this method, it will have to go through the several stages of fitting. However, this method is more reliable than drilling or burning through.
Well, Great Warrior, save your swords. We have Evan Carey fully packaged for you. Well, yeah, I can't see the blade yet, but it feels convenient in the hand. Tell me, why have you suddenly decided to demand a sword from Philippe? Ha, it's a rather long but funny story. It involves Philip, Swamp and Ghouls. And maybe a couple of pretty chicks. Only Ghouls. <laughs> As for you, like us, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about what character you want to see next in the Red Forge videos in order to update his equipment. Bye all.